Hello guys. In this video, I will show you how to install Platform IO extension into Visual Studio Code. As you may know, this is a very powerful tool, especially when you are working with embedded products, for example, Arduino or maybe other uh, open source uh, boards and you know, using IO key technology. Uh, Apart from the installation, we will do some testing using Arduino, you know, and also this uh, open source support, Node MCU. Uh, we will do some just basic testing. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to have uh, the latest version of uh, Visual Studio Code. In this case, it's uh, 1.44.2. Uh, you need to check your Python version. In this case, I have uh, my Python version is uh, 2.7.17. Uh, you can also have the latest version, uh, the 3.8. Uh, first, let's start installing Visual Studio Code. Uh, please. Make sure you follow the steps, otherwise you will have some problems when you try to run the platform I.O. extension. Uh, let's wait until the installation complete. Finish. Uh, as you see, we have our, our Visual Studio code installed successfully. After that, we need to go to the extensions. And first, first of all, you need to install this extension, which is the library for Gorai, C, and C++. OK, you need to wait for a while. Here you can see the installation started. One is once is complete, we proceed to install platform. This one. Install. Already installed it. In some cases, maybe you will find out that it will ask you to uh, relaunch the application. In my case, I will do that. Here I have my installation. And also I can see that uh, both extensions are enabled and installed successful. Once you have installed your Visual Studio, you will see you have these two. Please remember, you need to install the C++ library first, and after that, you install the platform IO ID. And then when you go to the view and um, palette comments, and if you want to click in platform IO home, you will see that there is an error. You can see the error is say uh, platform uh, uh, IO ID show home is uh, not found. Uh, for solve this problem, what you need to do is go back to your uh, editor, and then you will see here there is a. You need to add a, a folder to the workplace, but first you need to create a file. And this file, you just need to save it, and then you need to locate the folder where you will save all your platform I.O. projects. You need to call this uh, file with, the, with this name, and then save. Once you have saved, you need to add the folder. The folder where you saved the, the previous file, and then add. And then you can see here, it will show up. And it will start to do something. Can you see this? It will start to install the platform IO ID. Just to let you know, once you have installed the library, the C library, and also the platform IO extension, 
it needs to install some, uh, some files apart from that. That's why you need to follow these steps. Is create this file inside a folder and add that folder to your workplace. And then we need to wait now until this installation is complete. And then this error will disappear. Let's wait for a while, please. Uh, after the installation is complete, can you see this message here? It's saying that the installation is being successful. So let's start now. And then, can you see now, the platform IO Home will start to open it. Now, uh, we are successful with the installation. Once we have our platform IO extension installed into Visual Studio Code, we will do some basic testing. For this, we will use two examples using Arduino Uno, and also I uh, will use this uh, Node MCU open source platform. Uh, first of all, let's start with the Arduino. As you can see here, I have a basic circuit design. It's just an LED. Uh, with the uh, 220 ohms uh, connected to the anode, and the other leg is connected to the ground, the cathode. So what we need to do is just uh, connect this one to the pinter pin, and this one we will connect to the ground. Okay, and that's it here. And let's go back to our platform IO ID, and then we create our new project. We will call Arduino uh, let blinking zero one because I was uh, doing some testing before. Arduino, you know, Arduino and finish here. And then we need to wait until the project is being completed. Please be patient. Okay, as you can see here, our project has been completed. Uh, what you need to do is go to the source folder, click here, and then we start to code here. We will define the LED uh, 13. And we go to the setup to initialize the ping mode. As you can see here, we have the autocomplete. output and we go here to the loop and then we will here write the code to turn on the light and turn off so we will do digital right uh, led uh, height and then we will stop this for one second and then we will uh, turn off. For 10 seconds. Uh, as you can see here, the source code is all basic. We just doing here to turn on the LED for 10 seconds and then turn off for another 10 seconds and the, the loop will be repeat. And save the file. And then we need to go to the build here. Click. And then the platform IO will start to compile the file. As you can see, it's compiling here. And then it's been success. So there is a, this means we don't have any error here in our source code. And then we connect our 
Arduino to the USB. And click here. You can see here. And then we go to the Affluat here. Um, first of all, uh, when you can do something here, uh, go to the platform I.O. Um, I mean platform I.O. Home. You can go here and platform home here. Uh, you can see here there is an option for devices. Click here. And then you can see here our our Arduino is being connected. It's in the COM3. If you cannot see here, you need to do a refresh, and then it will show up here. Uh, so let's go back to our source code, and then we do the affluent. And then we need to be patient. It will upload the source code to our board. As you can see, our Arduino start to work. And then because there is no error, you see now it's working. It's blinking. Now I will show you how to work with the this uh, open source board. It's called Node MCU. You can go to online and search for this device. It's just a $5 board. So we will connect this one to the breadboard here. Yeah, sorry. And we will connect the the anode to the pin pin B zero and this one to the ground. You can see here this is our connections. Okay. Now we will go to our project, our platform uh, IO ID. And then you can see here in the devices, if you come here to devices, uh, you cannot see it yet because I didn't connect yet to the, to the board. First of all, we will create our project, new project. We will do this LED blinking uh, just with Basic example. So let's call this node MCU uh, LED blinking zero one, and then we need to search for this. You need to use this one, and the framework is uh, Arduino. Finish. And then we need to wait until the project is being created. Be patient, please, while the project is creating. So uh, we got the same folder here. As you can see, for this for this case, the source code is the same. So what I will going to do is go to the previous project we created. So we just copy this, all this source code, and we paste here. We just change this one. In this case, we are using the D0, right? So we change to D0. And that's it. We save our project. And we go to compile.
looks like we don't have any error because we just copied from the previous project. And the same here, we will go to check our device. What you need to do, make sure here is you have this device connected properly to your PC or your computer. Just connect this one to the computer. As you can see here in your PC, you will have a new device in the ports. And also, if you go to the devices in the platform I.O., you will see it show up already there. It's in the COM4. I told you that if, in case you cannot see here, just uh, click in Refresh. And now we go back to our project here. It's uh, in the node MCU let uh, blinking 01. The source code we just modify with LED D0. And then we do the affluent. Click here in affluent. And then we will see the LED will start to blink once the project is affluent to the board. And you can see here it's working properly already. OK, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you, if you like it, please uh, subscribe to my channel and also and give a like to this video and maybe you can share with your friends. Uh, thank you very much. See you next time.